All right, so this is a very strange angle. I just wanted to try it and see what would happen. It is Sunday night. I should have gotten some work done today, but I didn't. That's okay. Um, here you can see my Trello board. We've all seen this before, right? So every Sunday, Tuesday and Thursday, I think I scheduled like a mini self stand up for Seashell. So it's kind of just reminding me what do I want to get done. I have a work block on Tuesday set aside for Seashell and hopefully some work in the morning, which will replace my art block. So just thinking about that, maybe. So definitely do the simple humanoid model, perhaps some figure drawing, girl concept art. Uh, I know I didn't originally have that in the sprint, but let's see if I can work on that tomorrow. Cool, so when I sit down, it's either simple humanoid model, figure drawing, like Spike or girl concept art. These are my next tasks. I've already recapped what I completed in last week's devlog and only thing holding me back is some scheduling issues. So I do have a lot of agile work this week, which is a lot of front end development, which is probably gonna be a bit of a drag. Almost been tempted to put this devlog on pause so I can dedicate more time to school, but wanna keep trying this. Definitely wanna keep working on a seashell. So we're gonna keep trying, Keep. let's go. Next clip, next clip, Mark, next clip. So I started off going into making a proto model. I know my modeling skills as an artist are trash, but I have a decent understanding around Blender, so this serves as a great way to get back into things. I started doing some research regarding what I might need to keep in mind when importing things into Unreal, and it all checks out more or less, so no surprises there. Then I went ahead and got to modeling. I usually block model, so I continued that approach after briefly attempting Bezier curves and converting to a mesh, but quickly gave up on that. So now we have a uh, sort of proto model. All right, and we have our proto model. I'm having a flashback to the drawing course I'm doing on Udemy while doing this, which is kind of funny because it goes to show, again, why the fundamentals of art are so pervasive in doing all this stuff. So. This is just really simple model. Looks pretty bad, honestly. You know what? It'll be functional. Um, the thing I kept in mind for art was the proportions of a mannequin, but this is supposed to be a child, so I made it a little stubby. <laughs> You know, we're gonna roll with this. I'm gonna do an animation on it if, tonight if I get to it. On my Trello board here, I broke up the model into make, animate, and then implement. Just makes sense to have tasks to complete between each work session as opposed to one that pervades over a week. I said pervades twice now. Chances are I won't get to that tonight because I'm a midterm studying, but so next I'll either animate and maybe do some figure drawing learning today as the time goes on. But I have about 15 minutes before my next class. So I'm gonna go read for a little bit, maybe some niche. <laughs> then we'll jump back to voiceover and time-lapse mark in just a moment for whatever I work on next. All right, it is 10, 16 p.m. This should have been done way earlier today, but mini stand up for the day. You're just gonna see me because I don't really wanna record my screen right now. I did not get any dev work done today. It's been a very busy day and tomorrow will be too, but I wanna record the alarm video tomorrow, do at least an hour of development. So I'm gonna look at my seashell board here. Immediate tasks is animate proto model and import proto model. I'm gonna put figure drawing and girl concept art at the top actually. Maybe get sketching and then if I get tired or can't sketch, I'll animate. My cat wants to get out. But yeah, that's it for the stand up tonight. I'll see you in a sec. Quick devlog update, still don't have a haircut. I just pushed my work block back to the tonight when I have tutoring. So I might not get to it because uh, I also have my grammatical analysis midterm tomorrow, but I'll hopefully definitely get to some work tomorrow. If not tonight, of course. Ahoy Gamerinos. So uh, devlog outro time. <sighs> I haven't got anything else done. So I've just, I just done the model this week. <laughs> That's it. I've had a lot going on. So I've been trying to balance so many things and going from one end of the spectrum to the other and bouncing back and forth, you know, diving all into this thing, stepping back almost entirely away from it. Tomorrow, Saturday, I'm doing absolutely nothing. That's the intention at least, nothing productive. Uh, I think I just need, need that because uh, today is, I'm looking at my calendar right now. I got a, a lot of coding to do for my agile class, got some writing to do, edit this devlog, do some readings, and then hopefully most of the night off, just play Ori or something. And then for tomorrow, I literally just have the shrug emoji in a, in a calendar block. That being said, um, and I'll throw a picture of this on screen now, I've changed my sprint to April 2nd and just kept all the tasks there on this task backlog. Over on the ready side, uh, I'm just gonna keep the things that are ready to be iterated on. We'll keep working on these things for the sprint. My only goal to have complete is simple shooter. I just wanna watch that whole course because, and this is gonna turn into a mini rant. So if you don't, if you don't wanna watch anything that's on development, feel free to you know, click on whatever's recommended or check out a video here. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I've been realizing, and I feel like I've known this for a while, but there's a difference between being able to devote yourself fully to one thing, all to school, get the 4.0 GPA, all to a sport, become a star athlete, all to a game, devote all your time to a game. But I can't do that. I don't want to do that, devote myself entirely to one thing. However, I've devoted myself to too many things. So I think I mentioned this on a previous devlog, but suppose you have 10 hours, you can spend all 10 hours working on game development, or you can spend uh, one hour on 10 things. Obviously those things will progress at different rates than 
than they would if you gave them 10 hours. My classes fortunately aren't too demanding this semester. However, the, the agile class that I've mentioned is developing an app and it's like, it's weird doing this project alongside that. I'm trying not to get the reflection of my glasses, but because they're so similar. This agile class feels like a project I'm already doing on my own. So it's just strange to do CHL at the same time. So until that ever cools down, this first sprint that we have in the class is a lot more work than really anything else, I believe. So what are my other class? First language acquisition, super interesting class. Like I'm invested in it. I don't have to do any extreme studying. There's no exams. Grammatical analysis. I also just love doing that. And then expressive cultures and that's writing a lot of papers. And that's as long as I divvy it up or crunch it out at one time, we're good. It's unfortunate that the agile class conflicts in the manner of, oh, I'm doing two projects at the same time, which is not something I want to do right of my available 10 hours I don't want to give two to two different projects I only want to give two to one project if that makes sense I'm really tempted to put seashell permanently on hold for at least two or three weeks but I don't <laughs> I want to keep these spikes up because I figure if I do anything I can just passively learn feel like I'm doing something right and I know it's it's not a lot hey I got a model done once I animate that I can use that and learn how unreal can import models and stuff um there's just so much going on I I'm gonna do a reevaluation for myself on Sunday of what's so important what are my priorities because I have like 12 right now and it's like uh, and so it might turn into either you know seashell devlogs will be the only videos I do or the productivity videos will be the only videos I do you know maybe I don't stop seashell I just stop the devlogs because I view them all as three separate things the devlogs do take a good amount of time to put together. Oh, hey, I got to film me doing this, yada, yada. It does keep me accountable though. So they do go hand in hand. Really nothing else I wanted to mention. Um, but yeah, so for Seashell, simple shooter and some drawing, maybe some doodling. Drawing practice, I think, should are two good goals to do over the course of the next two weeks. I just, I want to, I want to bring myself to a point where I miss working on Seashell. It's been great. I don't know. This is just a whole ramble now, but I just have a lot going on. I'm okay with, you know, these past couple of days having not done anything for Seashell. Need to take that break day. Once I reevaluate though, uh, it'll be the start of the next devlog pretty much. So we'll see how that goes. I am really excited though to look back on these in, I don't know, several months, a few years and be like, <laughs> wow, yikes. <laughs> this needs to go away. It's going away tomorrow, I hope. Uh, yeah, when I go my break day, I'll drive and get a haircut. Thank you guys for the comments on the video. Uh, Jim, your planning, your comment on planning poker, I thought it was pretty funny. We've, we've only done it very, very straightforwardly in class. Uh, it, it's just nice to put a label on, on something and, uh, Federix, thank you, Pretorix. I, frick, I don't know, Federix. Glad you agree with the whiteboard quote. Um, I think this, this quote is, everyone wants the same thing, a world that excites and enthralls them. It's from a TV show. And it's just been on my mind a lot recently because Everyone wants the same thing, but everyone gets that in different ways. And so I've been asking myself, how do I get what excites me? What enthralls me? What makes me want to involve myself in the world? For some people that is diving fully into academics. For some people that is diving fully into a sport. For some people, i.e. me, that is doing 20 different things or 12 different things on some level. Everyone wants the same thing. Not everyone knows how to get that though. Feel free to agree or disagree in the comments down below. But without further ado, thanks so much for watching today's devlog. I do appreciate your support as always. Feel free to drop a comment in the comment section down below with any thoughts, feelings, or uh, concerns, I suppose. Don't forget to join the Discord so you can post about your own projects in our community. We've actually had some pretty cool postings and accountability updates. I actually haven't shared any of this, which I don't know why, but Federix day 23 of having a morning routine, very epic. Aha, uh -huh, working on, I believe, a compiler of some sort. I know Aura sent a uh, a track in the Art and Entertainment channel, um, which I thought sounded really good. Great progress coming along there. A ton of people posting and programming in tech, and I love to see it. So yeah, join the Discord, share your own stuff with us. And this time, for real, without further ado, have a good one. And as always, don't forget to stay awesome. See you next week.